Wake of recent mass shootings, gun violence is heavy on the minds of many. And today, President Joe Biden commemorated the passing of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. It's the first major gun legislation passed in the last 30 years. Joining the president were families of those lost to gunfire, including two families from right here in the Bronx and Brooklyn. News 12's Faith Graham joins us now from Belmont with more on this legislation and what it means. Faith. Well, Kirstie, I mean, talk about a big day for anti-gun violence activists. This legislation was actually passed about two weeks ago, and it includes billions of dollars for the mental health system, school safety programs, and safer gun laws. And today on the South Lawn, along with President Joe Biden, was the family of Jose Webster. The 16-year-old was shot and killed almost 11 years ago today. But 11 years ago, coming in September, on this very street corner, Teller Avenue and East 168th Street, we just spoke with his sister. She says it's long overdue, but it's a step in the right direction. If this bill would have passed 10 years ago, I can safely say, like, my brother would have possibly been, been alive. So as we can see now with this um, bill passing, knowing that the work that we are doing is being seen, the work that we are doing is going to create change. It may not be tomorrow, right? We know that this is an epidemic. Also there with the president was Trinell Gabay from Brooklyn. Her husband, Carrie Gabay, served as assistant counsel to former Governor Cuomo and was caught in the crossfire during a shootout in 2015 in the hours leading up to the West Indian American Day Carnival. The Bipartisan Safer Communities Act includes billions of dollars in funding for mental health programs, school safety programs, the usage of red flag laws, and crisis intervention. It also works to restrict domestic violence offenders from purchasing a gun as well as tightens background checks for those under 21. President Joe Biden says he is not trying to infringe on Second Amendment rights, but he is trying to make sure the country doesn't continue to lose innocent lives each day from gunfire. We'll not save every life from the epidemic of gun violence, but if this law had been in place years ago, even this last year, lives would have been saved. It matters. It matters. But it's not enough, and we all know that. And you heard the president say that it is not enough. His efforts are not stopping there. He is now also calling on Congress to do more. Next, he would like to see them introduce legislation to ban assault weapons and also introduce universal background checks. In Belmont, Faith Graham, News 12.